Hey, it's another week. I think it's time for another blog post. So a couple weeks ago, I did a review on Saga Star Wars. My main gripe with Saga Star Wars was that it was a little unbalanced. Uh, some of the things at low levels gave you too big of a bonus, and at high levels, the game just kind of broke down and just didn't make any sense. So I want to give a quick fix to this. Um, and what I'd like to do is take a rule out of 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons and kind of bring it back and put it into Saga Edition. Now, I'm not going to take everything from 5th edition. I'm not going to 5th edition to 5 the entire game. We still want to play Saga Star Wars. There's plenty of PDFs out there that that take Star Wars and make it 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons, but that's totally reinventing the wheel. We don't want to do that. So we're only going to take one rule out of 5th edition and insert it, and it should work fine. That rule is proficiency bonus. So you're going to replace uh, certain stats with the proficiency bonus, certain bonuses with the proficiency bonus. There are three of them. The first one is level. If it says add your level or add half your level, just add your proficiency bonus. That's all you need to do. Second, attack bonus. Anything that says add your attack bonus, instead, add your proficiency bonus. That again, just one for just take it out, put it in. It works. The third thing you want to do is anywhere it says add plus five. That's your skill checks and your skill focus. A couple other things do it. Plus five, take that out. Skill focus, uh, proficiency bonus, proficiency bonus instead. This will make things a lot more like a level playing field. Um, you can now attack things above and below your level without too much of a huge risk or making it feel super easy. Uh, those, there's lots of wiggle room you can do. It generally helps with a little balance. This does cause one un unintended uh, thing that you'll have to re your difficulty checks. So the number for your DCs might be a little lower. As a GM, you'll just have to eyeball that. Uh, another side effect is that uh, your defenses, your three defenses, it, it just doesn't kind of work with that. So instead, take out the add your level to all three defenses. Just take that out. Um, don't replace it with proficiency bonus. Instead, look at the class. If the class says add, uh, d don't add anything to the de defense, don't add anything. Just uh, just your your ability bonus. If it says add plus one, take out the plus one and instead add proficiency bonus. If it says add plus two, then add plus two and the proficiency bonus. That should level things out. Uh, defenses will scale for like attack when you're attacking against reflex defense. Uh, it should make it easier to, or I'm sorry, it should make it harder to attack things that don't wear armor if they're more of a like jumping around like a scoundrel class or a scout class that works without armor and if you wear if you want to make an armor guru soldier you can then use all the feats to add everything back in and be that armored like juggernaut that you want to be it, it works both ways it it's really good i like that change that should be it i don't want to add any other rules from 5th edition, because inspiration, they already got force points. Uh, they, if you add, if you take advantage and disadvantage and put it in, there's so many different rules that you're going to have to redo all of these abilities, all of these feats that you're just going to have to like look through and say, oh, is this advantage now? Or do we keep the bonus? It's, it's reinventing the wheel. You don't want to do that. You want to play Saga Edition Star Wars. That's the goal. So yeah, I think that'll make Saga Star Wars uh, playable, and it's an easy fix. Anybody can do it, and uh, it doesn't make entire rewrite of the rules. It's just you look at it, you, you make a judgment call, and boom, you're done. And uh, you can play Star Wars again, uh, at least that edition. You're, you can always play Star Wars. There's a Fantasy Flight Star Wars. It's wonderful. You should try that one out, too. Maybe I'll do a review on it sometime in the future. Anyways, thanks for watching. I love all of you. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye.